Look at the garden. It completely burst into color. That's so exciting. I think by this time I would already have published a spring bulb update tour to show you in detail everything that's been blooming. So check that out if you haven't already. But today we're talking about another really, really cool project all about the mini wildflower meadow. If you've been following for a while, you know that last year we created a mini wildflower meadow in our back garden and completely transformed a really sad and soggy piece of lawn into a wildlife heaven. And so last year also I shared how to harvest seeds from the meadow and what I did at the end of the season to keep it happy. And right now, towards the end of March, beginning of April, is a really good time to re-sow it if you need and do a little bit of TLC. So today I'm going to be de-weeding. I have noticed a couple of dandelions and other weeds that have crept back, so we'll take care of that. And also I want to add more seeds to it. I selected a couple of poppy varieties. I also have some coreopsis, some cosmos, and other wildflowers that I want to add and see what happens. I'll show you in a minute. I have a couple of seedlings that are popping out. I'm thinking from the perennial mix that I also planted last year. So I'm really excited about those. And also there's a couple of bare patches. So we'll try to focus the re there. I'm so excited to bring the mini meadow into year two. Let's get started. So let's have a quick look at the meadow. This is the situation so far. Last year I planted Verbena boarensis. It's really beautiful. I just cut it back now and we have a lot of new growth. That's really good. Oh, the garden is looking so wonderful. <laughs> Hello, sushi. Anyway, over here in this area, it's a little bit more shaded. Popped a couple of foxglove seedlings. I actually had so many foxglove <laughs> self seeding from last year. Over here, I had a couple of foxgloves and they self seeded in the entire garden. So I had to remove them from pots. You can see here on my decking, I have grass growing and also some foxgloves. They are <laughs> absolutely everywhere, which is really nice. And I'm thinking this is the area of the meadow that was getting a little bit more shade. So it would be nice to get a more shade tolerant plant over here. Then of course we have the den some dandelions that have come back. Another huge one over there. So we have to take care of that. There's like some really exciting things going on. I think this is some yarrow. There's a lot of little seedlings that have popped. So I have those coming up. They look like parsnip seedlings. I'm not sure. So if you can identify them, please let me know. Please leave me a note in the comments so I know whether to pull this out or keep it. I think this is a poppy. Mm, how exciting! There's those the oxide daisies. the seed box. <laughs> I already have a little, it's kind of super full. I already have a little section with all the wildflower seeds that I wanted to add or re -sew. So those are all the seeds that I harvested and collected last year, the corn cockles, corn flowers, the poppies and the corn marigold. So we'll set those aside. I've got some ragged robin. So peren hardy perennial, it's loved by butterflies. That's going to be really gorgeous. Then I got some more cornflowers in different colors. I got completely carried away and got a lot of poppy seeds. This gorgeous Angarian blue, poppy olala. 
Oh, then I found if you're in the UK, Country Living did a, col a seed collaboration with Homebase. They may still have some. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. So I picked up a couple of bits from them. Poppy Pandora, California Poppy Ivory Castle. This one, Peony Black, absolutely gorgeous. It also picked up Poppy Album. So this is going to turn into a Poppy Meadow. I also want to add some Coreopsis. We visited a gorgeous garden called The Vine in the south of the UK and they had a meadow with some color geared towards the end of the season. Flowers from June all the way through to October. So that's going to be really good to give a bit of a late color flush to the meadow. And I'm also going to be adding more Cosmos. And that's it. <laughs> that's already a lot to fit in that space. All right, now time for the seed mix. I've prepared a little bit the area, not like last year where I had a complete blank slate. Um, this year I'm trying to re-sow on top of, the, of what's already existing. You've seen we have a lot of seedlings that I've started. We just, you know, need to top up a little bit. So I have way too many seeds for that, but I'm going to sprinkle a couple of, of each variety. So here we have 750 seeds, that's quite a lot. But of course, if you have a large area, you may even want more seed packets. I, I have quite a few, just a few square meters. So I'm just going to pop a few of those. Puppy number two. I may create another mini wildflower area at the front of the lawn, on the front garden. You can see I have so many gorgeous seeds to use. Those are super tiny. I didn't know there was such a difference between varieties. It's crazy. This one is actually going to flower the year after sowing, so that's a time investment. All right, this is the loot. I ended up adding a little bit more poppy seeds because I thought it wouldn't be enough to cover all my little bare spots. All those different seeds. Isn't this so beautiful? The birds are going to be happy. Okay, now, probably the most exciting bit, the sewing. So it's a little bit different from last year because I don't have a fine tilt, I don't have a clear slate. So what I'm going to try to do is find some bare patches like this one and sprinkle the seeds as evenly as possible on that area. And then I'll cover with a really fine dusting of compost to keep the seeds nice and hidden from the birds. And also it will help keeping them moist enough for germination. If you're doing an area from scratch, you could use a roller or just lightly tread, <laughs> yeah. lightly tread on the seeds and then water them in again to ensure that good contact. So here you can just gently press like this. Um, that can do the trick. Of course, I had to prepare a shot. Well, I have help, so thank you, darling. But I had to show, <laughs> I had to show off this little shelf, the 2022 edition. I did a similar version last year. I'll pop a picture on the screen. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer 2021 or 2022. 
anyway, it smells so good right here. Keep an eye on the weather forecast because right now it feels like summer is here already, but the seedlings will still be a bit cold tender, so make sure to have a frost protection on hand. Also remember to water regularly so that the little seeds and seedlings don't dry out. I can't wait to see how the meadow is going to turn out on year two. I'm really excited. I'll share all, all the update with you and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's gone. Simba. No, it's gone.